go ahead and use our pry tool. Get in right behind the cap here. Gently pry away and remove your center cap. Using a 19 millimeter socket, go ahead, loosen and remove the lug nuts. Go ahead and grab your wheel and set it aside. Use a half inch socket on our ratchet here. Now we did go ahead and heat this up a little bit. Let's put a wrench on the other side. Let's go ahead and loosen this here. Go ahead and remove our upper nut off of our pitman arm here. Once that nut is loose, let's go ahead and remove our nut off of our inner tie rod to our center link. Using our 18 millimeter socket for this. Go ahead and use your pickle fork to separate the two. Once that's free, go ahead and remove your upper nut off the pitman arm to the center link. I'm gonna tap this down. Swing that out. And now we can go ahead and remove our tie rod like that. So our inner tie rod was frozen to the adjuster link here. So we're heating it up. Now that we've heated this up, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew our inner tie rod. We're gonna count how many full rotations it takes to remove our inner tie rod so we can thread in the new one and get a preliminary alignment. Let's go ahead and thread your inner tie rod on, counting the same amount of rotation as it took to take off. You wanna now put it back on. Gonna remove our castle nut off of this unit here. Set that aside. Now I wanna go ahead and line this up. Once we have that in, let's go ahead and install the nut loosely just to hold that in place. Now install our center link into our pitman arm. Then install the nut. You want to pay attention to where the hole is for your cotter pin. And let's snug that down. Go ahead and torque this down using our 17 millimeter socket. To 24 foot pounds. And then torque this down to 37 foot pounds. You'll want to watch and see if we can locate the hole in our pin here or our bolt for the castle nut. And you always want to tighten a little bit more to get that to line up with the next notch. I'm gonna go ahead and feed our cotter pin through.
want to go ahead and bend up one of our tabs, fold it up and over, then cut off the excess. Let's go ahead and tighten down this nut from the inner tie rod to our center link. You want to make sure that is pretty tight. And this has a castle nut on it, so you want to watch and once again line up the notch on the nut with the hole and then install your cotter pin. Once we're lined up, go ahead and feed your cotter pin through. Bend the tab. Snip off the excess. You want to come on back and you want to tighten up your adjuster sleeve here. And once this is all done and you get your wheel put back on, you want to go down and get an alignment done. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. We're going to get all of our lug nuts started by hand first. Once we get these on, we'll go ahead and snug them down. Ahead and torque these down to 95 foot pounds. Once you have your lug nuts torqued down, go ahead and install your center cap, lining up these little plastic studiers with the nuts here. 